What is going on guys, CJ here and welcome back to StarCraft. In today's video, I want to talk to y'all about an underrated container that a lot of people are overlooking. With the introduction of the latest update, Lamant, we got some new content. And in those new contents, we got the Hive and the Bears Den 6. And everybody is dying to get their hands on these containers. There's only a small problem. You need serum. And currently, you can only get one from your dailies and one to two from your weekly. So it's still pretty hard to get enough serum to make these high-end containers. But what if I told you that there's a container that you can make that is incredibly, incredibly good for the builds you're trying to make. Whether it's PvP, speed, carry, whatever it may be, there's a container out there that is incredibly good. The container I'm talking about is none other than the Forager. And when I tell you guys this container is off the chain, I'm not exaggerating. The thing that makes this container so good, the first one being we don't need serum. And the second one is the fact that it comes with rad. It gives you a positive rad, which allows you to do some nutty, nutty builds. So you can see right here, I'm rocking three mama's beads and a goldfish. And I just want to let y'all know, I could probably rock a fourth mama speed. And that's not enough. The speed builds with this same container are equally as nutty. You can get insane speeds, carry the same thing. You might have to slot in something to counteract things, but nonetheless, this container is something that I highly advise you guys make. Now, a lot of people seem to think that because it's Lamans is going to be the most intense grind. And while some of the things are relatively hard to get, not everything is hard to get. I would advise you guys get on your Lamans grind and get the Forager as soon as you can. You can make the Forager out of the KZS5 relatively cheap, or if you don't have a KZS5 and you have your Bears Den, you can go ahead and make it straight out of your bear sense. So that's also pretty good. And like I said, you do need a fair amount of mats. You need some limbo plasm. You need some anomalous batteries, some bitter leaf, lambda, which is actually the hardest thing to get out of all these things. Everything else is relatively easy, but I want to tell y'all, go craft this container as soon as you can and tell me if it doesn't change your life the end of the video, I'm going to show you the current builds that I rock on my Forager container. And if I'm being honest with you, I think it's much, much better than the Cocoon. But just the Cocoon. If we're talking about the Hive, that's a whole nother level. But yeah, man, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to tell you guys for today's video. It's a short one, but I wanted to put this out there because I've been asking a lot of newer players, mid-level players, what they're trying to do and not one as mentioned, the Forager. So if this video has helped, if it gave you some information you didn't know, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, join us on Discord, follow us on Twitch, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.